A moment is defined as the rotating effect of a force. It is the product of force acting on the object multiplied by a perpendicular distance. For example, consider a beam where W is the load acting on the beam at a distance L from point A. Then the moment about A is given by W multiplied by L. The difference between the force and the moment is the force acts at a point on the beam horizontally or vertically but the moment acts about a point. It will try to rotate that point clockwise or anti-clockwise. Now the main aspect of all these forces moment and reaction is to maintain the equilibrium. So to know if the beam is in equilibrium at all conditions we have set of governing equations called equations of equilibrium. They are the summation of vertical forces in the system should be zero that is sigma v is equal to zero which is force acting upwards and downwards should be equal. Secondly, the summation of horizontal forces in a system should be zero that is sigma h equals zero which means forces acting to the right and forces acting to the left of an object should be equal and finally the summation of all the moments in the system should be equal to zero that is clockwise and anti-clockwise moments should be equal. Only when these three conditions are satisfied, the system will be in a equilibrium. So when we analyze a beam, we should always remember these equations of equilibrium. We will understand this better when we solve problems. Now let's learn a bit about sign conventions. While solving problems, we follow certain sign conventions. For vertical forces, the forces which are traveling upwards are always negative and forces acting downwards are considered positive. In horizontal forces, the forces going to the right is taken as positive and the forces that are going to the left are taken as negative. And in moments, clockwise moment is considered as positive, anti-clockwise moment is considered as negative. So these are the sign conventions we use to solve the problems in upcoming sections. Finally, we'll sum up what we learned in this video. We learned about the types of loads and its formulas, moments and how is it measured, equations of equilibrium and the sign conventions. Next, we'll move on to the problem section where the problems are solved step by step by our experts which will make problem solving easy and exciting. Do watch out. 